In college, you will encounter our multiple choice questions in many different subject areas. This lesson will teach you techniques to help you answer these types of questions. First, think about how multiple choice test questions are objective. Objective test questions have one direct answer. The answers are straightforward, specific, and precise. Quite possibly, the most important step is to carefully read directions. You must understand what the question is asking you. Key words will help you figure out the purpose of the question, and tips in the directions will help you focus on the right information. As you read, you should underline keywords. Look out for keywords in the question first, anticipate your answer, and then underline the keywords in the answer choices. Try to make connections between the keywords. In order to anticipate the answer, you should follow three easy steps. First, cover the answer choices. Second, read the question and think of the answer. Third, look at the answers and choose the one most similar to yours. To help you choose an answer, focus on qualifying terms. Look for trigger words and how they change the meaning of the statement. Absolute qualifiers include words like all, only, never, and always. Typically, the right answer will not be absolute. Conservative qualifiers like often, usually, sometimes, and some are the better choices for multiple choice questions. You should make sure you read every word in the question and answer choices. Don't choose the first answer that seems right. If answer choice B seems right and you pick it before reading the other choices, you may not have chosen the best answer. If your multiple choice question includes a reading passage, read all the questions before doing the reading. This way you may find the answer as you're reading. Other tips are listed on the left in green. Pause the video so you can review these additional tips. Once you've reviewed all the tips, play the video for some final notes. A final technique to check your answer is to do the true-false test. Read each answer and decide if the choice is a little bit true, not true at all, or most true. Remember, you are looking for the most true answer. In the end, use your intuition. Your first intuition is usually correct, but don't be afraid to change your answer. When people change their answers, a higher percentage change to the right answer. Use all of these tips to make the right choice. Good luck on your multiple choice test questions.